is Monster Jam. The Monster Truck Spectacular electrifies audiences in stadiums and arenas around the world. Oh my goodness. These drivers put their lives on the line every time they suit up, but thanks to extreme safety precautions, they often walk away unscathed after even the most intense accidents. One of the sport's rising stars is probably not who you'd imagine would be behind the wheel of a monster truck. My name is Brianna Mahan. I am driver of the brand new Whiplash Monster Jam truck. Brianna Mahan may not look like your typical Monster Jam driver, but she definitely drives like one. I'm out here in a male world, you know, dominating for the females, and, and to have a truck that stands out so brightly against everybody else, is, it's such an honor. Brianna Mahan's need for speed evolved on the motocross track. I was born into the fast lane and I never left. We were in a male-dominated sport and the men didn't really want us there. They felt that we were a threat because we were faster than them. And I mean, I remember sitting on the line and the guy next to me, his dad would hit him in the back of the shoulder and say, you better take that girl out, don't let her beat you. An injury to one of her hands brought Mahan's motocross career to an end. In 2014, I was uh, sitting in cosmetology school and kind of got a phone call from Tom Mintz himself. And he had heard about my background and, and thought I'd be a great candidate to uh, try out. So I spent all of 2014 training and, and driving a truck and learning about Monster Jam. And in 2015, I won Rookie of the Year. <laughs> But Mahan wasn't done with her career in the beauty industry. Today, she owns a hair salon in Illinois. When I get new clients, I tell them, and they're just floored, like, you don't look like a Monster Jam driver. Of the 83 active Monster Jam drivers, only 14 are female. Seeing men in the sport is, it's cool. And when you have a lady that rocks the house, that's epic. Honestly, it's an adrenaline rush that I just don't even think you can explain until you're in it. It's an awesome, awesome experience. The women in our sport, they've proven they're just as good as the men. You could tell there was something special about her. Competitive, tough, and never wants to give up on training. The drivers get to hone their skills at Monster Jam University, a facility in Paxton, Illinois that's operated by Tom Mintz. To have a place like Monster Jam University where they can perfect their craft, get better when they're out there, then they can bring their epic performances to the track. According to Monster Jam, each truck costs around $250,000 to build. Our trucks are 12 foot tall, they're about 12 foot wide, and they weigh anywhere from 10 to 12,000 pounds, 1,500 horsepower. Our tires are 66 inches tall, they're massive. They're like the biggest tires on any vehicle around. And you know, it's just, it's so cool to drive such a big beast of a truck. They maneuver around the stadium at amazing speed. They can fly over 40 feet in the air. They're 100% like engineered fighter jet airplanes. On a rainy night at MetLife Stadium, these trucks were put to the test. Due to a lack of traction on the track, the drivers couldn't perform a lot of their signature maneuvers, like full backflips and riding on two wheels. What the show lacked in fancy tricks, it made up for with mud. We have the best safety technology. We're fireproof head to toe, head restraint, neck restraint. We have seven point harnesses that hold us into the seat, fire shoes and gloves, and we take every precaution necessary. And that's why you don't see the injuries in Monster Jam like you do in any other sport, because we're head to toe fully protected. The drivers first compete in races, followed by a freestyle round. There's no cash prize for the winner. The drivers are all salaried employees. Monster Jam wouldn't share specifics about the driver's salaries. We're all hired contract workers, basically, and we come in and do our job and get to go home at the end of the day. 
I get messages all the time of girls that say, you know, you're my role model, I look up to you. You can't put a price tag on that. We get to compete on the same tracks and the same trucks on the same level as the men. And that's really what makes it special and a really cool sport because you know, there's nobody here pushing us down. Everybody's building us up.